Ni ai tru fo kilo blithar Stung Fis Twee handen bij de lease Die spot vind ik sowieso want ik ben de G Ik heb geen gevoelens dus baby doe dit verliefd Draai dan maar Draai dan maar Draai dan maar Hi everybody! Hold on. I like to say that in the third my machine. Hi everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's goody, everybody? Let me pull up the uh the comments. Hi says, hi D, hi everybody. All right, so I'm intensive. I'm hoping we ain't on here for long, y'all. Hoping we're not on here for long. You know my motto. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Hey, Julian. Hey, everybody. Uh, just a few church announcements. This Sunday, Julian's here. This Sunday, we will be making Julian's pattern on live on uh, the, the clock app. Okay, that's at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be doing the top. And I did print out the top. Hey, Anna Boo. I did print out the top, the PDF. Y'all, it's like only eight pattern pieces. And it's only like 30 pages, which is nothing for a PDF, okay? So printed that out. Also, while we're on the subject of Julian's pattern, I don't know if you guys have noticed. I mean, most of us took advantage of the 70% off sale last week. Uh, the closet refresh, I think. What's it called? Closet refresh? Either way. So y'all know some pussy having another sale, right? But it looked like all, all the paper patterns are down. Like, so the, the site somehow has, is glitchy right now. So if you're trying to buy paper patterns or take advantage of the current sale on Simplicity's website, it's not you. It's not you. You are not the drama. Um, their, their website is down right now. So, you know, you may want to wait a bit. Or uh, I believe the PDF feature is working. So you can take advantage of that. If you want to hop on live with me, Julian, hey, will me, Julian, and Shamir um, on Sunday, there are three spots left. Well, technically, if Julian won nine, he can. But typically, for like, if we're making the same garment, we like to have about six. Hi, Diane. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. So I think those are all the church announcements. Um, of course, check Black Sewing Network's calendar uh, at www.blacksewingnetwork.com. We have sew alongs every day. So i'm just you know filling in on wednesdays you know this is kind of our floater host spot so i'm just filling in the time today um today we are sewing a super duper cute pattern by pattern couture hello michael hello 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 we are sewing a super cute pattern by my uh why i say by michael by pattern couture this is a independent pattern company i discovered randomly on uh on etsy of all places i was looking for hey 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 Anna, hey Anna J, hey uh, Brooklyn Timmy, Brooklyn Timmy Unifeds, it's Unifeds girl. Anyway, so I discovered this pattern company on um, Etsy because I was looking for stuff for Beyonce. Like I was looking for best for the Cowboy Carter release and they have so many cute like little uh, patterns for super cheap. Like I've gotten all the patterns so far between like $3 and five bucks. So their stuff is seemingly always on sale. Um, so we are going to make this today. So I got this pattern. I'll, I never figured this out. So I got this pattern um, the other day. Well, I got it when I got a whole bunch of their patterns, actually. And this pattern is actually comes in a set. It's their Lily skirt. And I forgot what the name of the blazer is. So you get both patterns and they give you a free um, sweatshirt pattern. It seems like, so I bought about four patterns from them. And it seems like they give you that free sweatshirt with every single pattern. Um, so, yeah, like, you know, it's a, uh, I think the the pattern designer is based in Austria. So, um, yeah, international uh, pattern company. Uh, but, yeah, I made one of their patterns before. Pretty straightforward. Um, the patterns seem to be easy across the board. Only thing I would say is they don't really have like notches or markings. So you do need to have a general concept, even though they have great directions, you do need to have a general concept or understanding of construction. Um, hi, J Black Music. I don't know what BG is, okay? <laughs> hello, uh, J Black. Um, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, all right, y'all. So I'm just trying to get my machine threaded. Uh, so as you can see, there is an asymmetri asymmetrical component 
to this uh skirt. We're just doing the skirt today. We are not doing the blazer. I just talked about my darn uh my um my tweet just being the most important tool in my damn thing, and I'm not even using it. They don't give you that sweatshirt away with every pad on purchase. They do. I purchased like four patterns, and every single purchase they gave me that sweat the same sweatshirt. It came with every single time I bought a, a every single different pattern I had. It's a freebie. It's their freebie pattern. Oh, you said they do. They do. They do. You did say that. I was like, can I get some other freebies? Can y'all give me something? I want another freebie. I don't want the same freebie. All right. So let's get started. So you've used their stuff before, Brooklyn Timmy? Again, so this pattern has about nine pattern pieces. So again, it's a full welt. But what I did was I did create a, uh, I did create like a real, I'm going to put a real pocket in because, you know, I'm fancy like that now, y'all. I'm fancy like that. So I'm going to start prepping my welt pieces. They do a very different though. Um, you know, we're going to rock with the way they do it. We're going to rock with it. But yeah, it's very interesting the way in which they uh, assemble their welt. So I'm going to start with the flat. Um, I am using faux leather. This is some faux leather that I got from um, Fab Scrap here in Philly. Fab Scrap is essentially a place that saves fabric from going to the landfill. So this is like upholstery leather. Leather is not intended to really wear, but you know, I don't care. I will use upholstery fabric for my garment and not think twice about it. So I'm trying to find the other piece. Here we go. Cause I really, I have some other faux leather from Minerva that I want to use, um, but I don't, I want to test the pattern out, test the fit out beforehand. So again, we're going to start with the, 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 the flat. I'm going to stitch it around. I believe the seam allowance on everything is a half an inch. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, they want me to do my darts first. I didn't say I'm going to do that. I'm prepping my, I'm prepping these pieces first. All right, so let's prep this, all right? So I have my iron on low heat. <laughs> Child. Cause I will be ironing this as well. Is anybody else sewing tonight? Oh no, this is definitely on high heat. No, it's not. Hi, K Bella. Hi, Tony. Is anybody else sewing tonight? Did everybody get their F your feed post up? Anybody participating, Tony? K, are you doing the F your feed challenge? You see on Instagram, I started this challenge with my social media uh, tips and tricks channel or community on there. And we are uh, disrupting our feed this month. We're doing F your feed all month. And we're posting what we want to post. T, you're doing that? Okay. Are you putting the PDF together? Nice. I can't wait to see it. High grown and opinionated. I am Harry Potty Rose for me and the kids. Oh, I love that. All right. So for uh, faux leather, you really shouldn't use uh, pens. I use what the hell I want to use, but clips work better, honestly. So I'm just going to clip this together with my the couple clips I have. I don't know what I did with my other clips. All right. So I'm just going to prep my wall pieces and then we're going to move on. Still working on this Frogtails outfit. What are you making for Frogtails? I haven't even started. I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. All right, so we're doing. I love it. Denim scraps. Yes. Sam, you're sewing. It's late for you. Sewing my test for Grace's challenge. Okay, I need to 
child. I signed up for Grace's challenge. I'm like, can I just buy the fabric, Grace, to support? I don't really. But I signed up for it, so I'm going to do it. I signed up too, y'all. Grace got me today, y'all. Grace is having a challenge, y'all, where uh, she has challenged you to, you to make a set. A set using her fabric. So I will be participating because I need some new toiletry bags for travel. So I'm going to make like a makeup bag, a toiletry bag. So I'm looking at my pattern stash to see what I have. Does anybody recommend any makeup bags or toiletry bags? I know T makes, uh, T makes stuff. Vintage pattern, I'm grading from a 32, but 32, girl, 32. She really don't sleep. Girl, 32. That ain't great. And you make, you're making a new pattern. <laughs> That's more than great. And you making a new pattern, sis. <laughs> a 32. Okay. She really don't sleep. Sam, I thought I don't sleep. Sam really don't sleep. Sam, you might as well move to the States so you can be on our schedule. Hi, Auntie Tata. All right, y'all. So because I'm using faux leather, I am going to top stitch this all the way around. I am using a vinyl needle. I should have switched out to my non-stick foot, but I don't know what... Hold on, is that in here? Nope, it ain't in there. I don't know where the hell I did my non-stick needle. Shout out to the bad girlies that put me onto it. But of course, I am not prepared with it. All right, we're going to pivot. I wish I lived. Uh, that's how I feel. I'm making a new pattern because you are, girl. If you if you gray in from a 32, I don't think I ever wore. I don't think I wore a, a 32 since birth. That's the size I was at birth. Okay. Child. So D is making stuff from scraps. Sad, uh, Sad is doing stuff for Grace's challenge. We love to see it. All right. All right. So this is what we're working with. Here we go. Y'all swear they think they know I'm talking to you, Sad. Why is this playing in British? A British dialect. All right, so that's what we're looking at. Like I top stitched that. All right, so I'm going to don't want to be. Here's my pocket bag. All right, what they wanted me to do was attach. Again, this is why I need. Brooklyn, tell me, which um, patterns have you made from this company? Again, I am pressing this on with light heat, even though it's faux leather. Yeah, I'm about to say, I, don't, I think I started at a 34 when I was in middle school. All right. All right. Morning, Qua. Morning. What's this? The front lining. So, all right.
We are going to attach the front lining to the front facing. Again, what makes this complicated is, it's not too complicated, but I just kind of wish they would. Little brown hairs everywhere. Hi, Grace. Did you hear me talking about your challenge? I promoted your challenge, girl. You must have, your ears must have been burning. I was talking about your challenge. I talked about your set challenge. So what I'm doing for the challenge, I am going to take some of Grace's scrap bags and make me some some toiletry bags, a little toiletry set. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, so now I'm kind of skipping back to the first step. So I'm taking this uh, facing piece. I hope I'm doing this right. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you know what? We going to... I don't want to be YOLO, but I'm about to be YOLO. YOLO! Yep, that's fine. Child, they want us me to do all these darts. Why do they want me to do all these darts? I didn't ask for this. All right, so I'm about to stitch on the facing, the hood dress and the crossbody. Oh, okay, okay. How'd you like it? And what would you say? So my thoughts on these patterns are they are beginner friendly, but they're beginner friendly. I just feel like there needs to be a little, a couple more markings, a couple more markings on the pattern. Just a, just a couple. I just need one knot to let me know I'm connecting stuff correctly. That's all. But I do think they're easy and beginner friendly. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. All right. So this is what the facing piece looks like with one piece of the lining. Let me hope and pray. Yes, it says nothing. I made the shrug and shorts too. Oh, you were busy then. Look at you, Brooklyn Timmy. Feds by day, so is by night. We love to see it. Feds by day. You never mentioned what you're making for fractals, though. Oh, not me about to burn my stuff. Oh, all right. I'm burning stuff, y'all. I'm burning stuff. I'm burning stuff, y'all. This liner is cheap, too. Y'all, not me burning the liner. <laughs> Send a revival. <laughs> Send a revival. Listen, let's be honest. We all want the rapture to come. We all want the rapture to come, do we not? Okay. We are ready for the rapture. 
Who ain't ready for the rapture? With the way this world acting. Who ain't ready for the rapture? Rapture with the way this world been. So, Brooklyn, tell me, do you order the print files or do you be really piecing together? <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying. I'm saying. I'm just saying. All right, so I'm putting that to the side. Cause this world crazy. Child, both of them look like the darn. <sighs> Just when you think you're prepared. Just when you think you're prepared, Father God. Just when you think you're prepared. what do you think in terms of percentage of commercial patterns versus indie patterns what do you think your split is so my split is probably about 80 20 so 80 percent commercial patterns 20 percent indie patterns but by the end of the year i would love to see that increase to like from increase to like 35 percent indie patterns what does everybody think their percentage is curious curious to know Don't speak all at once. Lord. It's a tough crowd tonight. It's a tough crowd tonight. There is an industry that is worth over half a trillion dollars full of wealthy business owners that are looking to pay. Not with a glass of wine. I hope your stuff get pieced together straight. I hope it gets pieced together straight. Not with a not with a cup of wine. <laughs> Now with a cup of wine, sis. Now with a cup of wine. I'm afraid of Brooklyn Timmy. You know what? I can tell. I can tell Brooklyn Timmy love to get her drink on though. That does not surprise me. That does not surprise me, sis. All right, what's what are we working with here? Half inch. Okay. They are. I disagree. I think beginner. I think indie patterns are beginner friendly. I think they're more beginner friendly than commercial patterns. But piecing them together sometimes ain't the most friendly. But in general, like once you get it pieced together, I feel like the sizing is more friendly as well as the directions. I think they speak to. Um, I think they speak to the language of at home so it's more so than. Um, than uh commercial patterns but piecing that shit together that's a different story now that's not very beginner friendly all the last pattern i put together printed 53 pages here yeah, that's about that's about right 80 percent 20 percent indie all right All right, so we're just they so the way they do these welt pockets are very interesting, they're very interesting. <laughs> um, Ninety percent, ten percent indie. Okay, I agree. They are more fashion, and they're more fashion forward. Absolutely. All right. So this is how they do their well pockets. Very. So they basically have you do this insert, and um, they you create the welt from this insert. Very interesting. 
But I'm going to do my darts real quick. But I put that together. I'm just putting the pieces together, the building blocks together of this pattern. I'm looking for my damn welt pieces and I can't seem to find it. Here they go. So here are the welt pieces that they want you to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half and do a basting stitch down the bottom like an eighth of an inch. This is the first, you know what? I've, I've been doing a lot of well pockets lately, I feel like, and I feel like every single time they are different, but I feel like once you grasp the concept of well pockets, it gets easier and easier. But it'd be taking, it'd be taking me a while to grasp it. You know what I'm saying? You know, y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Same with collars. I feel like I'm doing them a lot lately, and I feel like I'm getting better and better. Whereas before, my collars will be it. Y'all saw when I tried to do that collar on that one um shirt. It was a disaster. A disaster, big. Then, hello michelle hi sin hey everybody welcome 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 so i did the one wall piece and i did this well approach is very similar to what i did for uh erica's pattern her blazer pattern that, it, that ain't done i don't want to hear no i don't want to hear nothing them vents are sending me julian said the hand stitching but i was like sir sir he said what <laughs> I'm going to have to watch D-Tutorial. Hey, Tamika, I'm going to have to watch D-Tutorial. Because that vent part is, like, confusing. And in my defense, everybody said that. I do. I like hand stitching hands, not vents. But everybody said, everybody said, um, Keisha said it's confused. Keisha um, even D, um, and Shamir said they all tricky. They, she was like, yo, everybody that finished it said, nah, it is tricky farm. So it ain't just me. It ain't just me. I just want to say that. I just want to say that, that the pros, the pros of that shit said, nah, this, it's a little tricky. Hi D, hi Angela. Hey everybody. Thanks for joining. All right. So here are my two welt pieces. Okay. Stitch them down. I'm going to put that to the side. So we have the welt pieces, the flat. So essentially what it's going to look like, <laughs> it's going to look like this. And I'm adding my own bag because girl, why not? It's going to be cute. It's going to be cute. Stop playing with Karen. I just want y'all, I just want y'all to know that I unlocked so many different skills with my make nine board. How's your make nine boards going y'all? I need updates in the comments. How are your make nine boards going? Please provide updates in the comments. Don't all speak at once. No, I'm not going to tell y'all this is how y'all do. The, uh, you should do. Uh... Now. Kids, if anybody's watching at home, this is not how you do darts. But this is how we this is how Auntie is doing it today. This is how Auntie is doing today. We're gonna mind our business, okay? And we're gonna do these darts. Say something. Not you forgot about it. Not you said, not y'all said, you still got the rest of the year, y'all. Not y'all giving up. Child. Not y'all gave up. Child, I can't. Not y'all gave up. Always just you, your people, and no one else. Can we not give up? Can we? You got two done. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear, Tamika. Ciao. 
How y'all giving up? I thought, I, what happened to this going to be my year? What happened to all y'all? This going to be my year, folks. What happened to my, it's going to be my year, folks. What happened to y'all? What happened to y'all? This my year. Where y'all at? What happened? Diane, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear, Diane. Don't give up. You do need to do it. It don't. You know what? You don't have to put. Don't. I think what a lot of people are feeling like they have to do is put super complicated things on their board. If you want to make the perfect T-shirt, put that on your board. Don't feel the need to put like I don't know super complicated stuff on there. I still struggle with making a good T-shirt. Ain't nothing wrong with that goal. If that's what you want, if that's what you want to be your goal, that's your business. That is your business. You got three done now. You just showing off, Tony. Tony got three done, y'all. Everybody puts it. Everybody drops some hand clap for Tony because she's showing off. Everybody drop some hand claps for Tony. No, that's what's up. Tamika, it's easy to stray because I've made other that's that's my issue, Tamika. That that right there, that's it. That right there. That's it. Now I've done the and the problem I did was I picked patterns that I don't want to make anymore, but I'm a, I'm gonna stick to it. So I did my board based upon skills. Like I did category skills and I did patterns. I should have stopped the skills. Like I broke it down. Yeah, I should have stopped the skills. But there are some patterns that I want to make, but other ones I'm like, uh, I don't want to do them no more. <laughs> so I might need to submit another another make nine board with just the pattern portion. Because half them patterns I don't even want to make no more. But, but. Y'all know what I got in the mail today? Say what? Say what you get. What you get, Carmen? Y'all want to know what I got in the mail today? Can anybody guess? Anybody guess what I got in the mail today? I'll wait. Hey, y'all ain't gonna y'all ain't gonna guess. I didn't say what I said. Y'all ain't gonna guess. Y'all ain't even gonna try to guess. I feel like y'all know what I got. No, not quite. Not fabric. I don't think I got fabric. No, I don't need any more patterns. No patterns, no. Bill child, listen. Why you gotta bring? This is positive vibes, Diane. This is positive vibes only. You wanna bring up bills, girl? Not bills. Not bills. Money. I like that. So I did. Y'all, Anna did send me a match, y'all. So I do have a mat that I need to do an unboxing for. I do have, I did just get a mat. Okay, I'm about to tell you. Relax, Brooklyn Timmy. Relax. Relax. No, no care. All right, I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you. <laughs> I got my Birkenstock kit from Jamie. So y'all know I'm trying to get in. So part of my make nine boards uh, this year is I want to make shoes. I want to. So no, I just put shoes on one one part of it. But I said I want to do things I don't I never did before. And one thing is make shoes. So I got my Birkenstock kit. 
So I can flex on my girlfriends. No, Birkenstock. Can y'all not hear me? My Birkenstock shoe kit. Yes, I'm excited. Because I've listened, all my girlfriends got Birkenstock <coughs> that I travel with. And they be real bougie with it, like, oh, you don't have no Birkenstock. Because you know, Birkenstocks ain't cheap, y'all. Them little funny looking shoes are not cheap. But they are great for traveling, especially because I typically go on trips that are long distances. And, um, you know, of course, I take my spirit flights, but with my girlfriends, we go far places. Where the last place we went? Like, I think the last place we went was Egypt. And, you know, that was a, what, eight-hour flight. So, you know, your feet blow up on the, on, the, on, on the plane. So, they all wear, all of them got Birkins out but me. I be on there with my, pink, my, my Nike pandas looking silly. Can you tell me so I'm gonna come up in there with my um hey Tigery. I'm gonna come up in there with my um Birkenstocks with my customs. Like what? Y'all ain't got customs. Y'all ain't got customs. Say something. So yes, I'm super excited to start that journey. So the kit was, I think, I think regular price is two twenty, right? But you gotta look at it like this, right? Birkenstocks gonna run you between like fifty and seventy dollars, right? So the kit comes with all the tools and all the all the shebang bang everything you need, right? But the only thing is, like, so you don't have to buy the kit every single time. It comes with like the glue. It comes with like the buckle, the hole punch. All you gotta buy every time if you want to make another pair is the the sole. So all I gotta do every time is buy the sole. So you know while they are paying like and they paying that much for like the the rubber ones. They're not paying. Hey, Auntie Carrie. They're not paying for the one, like I'm making mine out of leather. Like I got some leather fab, like some leather from Fab Scrap. Uh, Mood also has some leather that I was looking at too. So all I do is have to, you know, keep the leather on deck and just keep buying the soles and stuff. So I want to make like three or four pair. So the kit comes with, uh, I didn't open it yet, but it comes with a tutorial. It comes with uh, glue. It comes with a hole punch, a sole, the belt buckles. The pattern, um, yeah, Birkenstocks. It comes with all the things. All right, so this is what the hell is this? What is that? What is that? <laughs> all right, y'all. Let's press that out a little bit. So, yes, I got shoes. I'm excited. So, Jamie did say she's going to start doing shoemaking classes when she, she's going. She has to travel for a little bit. But she said as soon as she gets back, like in the beginning of the summer, she is going to start her classes. So, I want to. Thank you. Hit the like button. Yes. Yeah. So I want to start like practicing early because I don't know about y'all, but I don't like showing up to a class feeling like a novice. I, I like to show up to class like feeling like, oh, no, I already got this. I got this. Even though I'm, you know, already learning. Do y'all prep for class before y'all take classes? And let me tell you another thing. I prep for classes because I want to get my money's worth. Like, I want I want to ask you stuff that you ain't think was going to be on there. I'm like, uh-uh. Answer this question too, beloved. So yeah, I'm that I'm that student that be showing up like, um, excuse me, can you answer my question, please? Thank you. Cut the check. Check cut the check. Not complex D. Not complex. D. She is definitely complex D. Not complex D. I'm done. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, you know, Diana depends on the class, of course. And of course, I got to care about the content. 
But if it's like, if it's sewing related, oh yeah. If it's like artsy related, I'm like, yeah, I want to know. I want to know if he really loves me. I say your prayer. <laughs> I'm that girl. I am that girl. Yep, I'm her. I feel like I'm missing a piece. All right, y'all. We're doing more darts. Should I have done these in advance? Yes, but did I? See, the thing about these darts, though, is they are, they're, they have four darts. Anybody in the audience, trivia question. <laughs> trivia, and I don't even, I don't know, and I want to know. Why did, I forgot. I feel like they, I did learn this at one point. But why would they have the need, why would they do two darts? Well, four darts in the back. Why would they add two darts? Why isn't one dart enough? Auntie Carrie, you know. Does anybody in the audience know why they would add two darts? Zipper D. Now y'all got nicknames. Brenda, I did come up with the nicknames. So when y'all write y'all books, I want an acknowledgement. I want a thank you or acknowledgement to give it proper shape. And they can't accomplish that with one dirt. <laughs> I'm just saying. They can't accomplish that with one dart. That's my point. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't need two darts on each side. It's, I gotta do four darts right now, y'all. That's a lot. That's a lot to ask for one person. And the way I'm doing these darts are, don't do this at home, kids. Two darts at the shoulder and two darts at the back. We're not doing anything with the shoulder, but are you, Diane says, two darts at the shoulder and two darts at the, I gave her, a, I gave her a zipper D. She zipper D. She likes zippers. She likes zippers. That's zipper day. She has like an obsession with zippers for whatever reason. I mean, God bless. <laughs> if you like zippers, enjoy that. <laughs> she loves zippers. I didn't know. Listen, I told you she the bubble. Sh she the bubble shrimp of zippers. Okay. She's a bubble shrimp of zippers. And D from DC this is just likes doing hard things. So I called you complicated D or complex D. All right. So we got one dart in. I didn't ask for this. Thank you. 
You make sure. Oh, yeah. So there's a few things that I noticed from the F, you, F your feed challenge, y'all. Uh, make sure you're using, like, sounds a little bit. Just a little bit. Give it a little instrumental vibe. You know, people love to listen to stuff with a little bit of sound. Um, turn the sound down, though. So don't turn it, like, hand the sound on so that we can't hear what you're saying. Um, but definitely uh put an add a little add, add a little tune, add a little tune to your video. Also, another thing y'all could do is uh add cover art. So easy. Create quick uh make sure you're selecting cover art or like a cover shot. Chat. Hi, Auntie Dory B. All right. Yeah, that's the only feedback that I have. Like, y'all are posting great content. And even though I'm like, yes, disrupt your feed, just make sure you're. There's still ways, even if like the actual video is just whatever. Um, there's ways that like help with the aesthetic of your page. Like, I'm just honestly sitting right here in my at my sewing machine taping the videos, but I always like make sure I pick where my friend. Like some some people shop like when when you when it appears on Instagram, be like this, cause they ain't pick no cover art. So just make sure you're like sliding that across and saying like, oh yeah, this one, you know. Yay! How many patterns did you get, Diane? If y'all haven't caught, did y'all see Linda's having a competition for her top? I mean, y'all can enter, but I'm prepared to win. I'm prepared to win. Um, but Linda's having a hacking challenge. It ain't hacking. You can make it as is. You have to at least make the top, though. She's doing a giveaway that I very much so plan on winning. Ten, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. The contest is going from now until uh, May 2nd, I believe. So all you got to do is make the top and stop and post it. She she said she would love to see hacks, but it's not a requirement. Just You can make it if you're not into hacks. So I tomorrow's video, I, I want to do like, you know, style the ones that I did already. Um, all right. All right, so we got the four darts in the back of the skirt. Child, my video editing is nothing. Let me tell y'all what to do. <laughs> now, y'all want to know my process? I'm y'all say yeah. Drop, drop a camera if y'all want to know my process for taping videos. I will tell y'all in two seconds. It's really not that hard. I'm not even. You know who's really good at video editing? Terrence. Me, I'm okay. I get the job done. I get the job done. <laughs> I do the bare minimum. <laughs> All right, so this is the back. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> so all I do... <laughs> Cause y'all know I even though I, I saw I've, I've been beating my face. Y'all notice I've been beating my face. Uh, Tyra's like you don't beat your face in the stories. I said, listen, I know it's F your feet, but I said I still gotta, you know. I take everything in advance in my stories though, cause that's where I'm comfortable. You know what I mean? Like the Instagram, um, cause they they would prefer you do everything in the reels part of the. The real stuff is too complex. So I do every single video in my in my stories, like I always do. And I just save them down. 
if I want to, uh, and I save them in order. So when you do it in your stories, you save them down so they're saved in order. Everything I want to say is stay is saved in order. And the stories they also let you do. Let's say I say a mistake like, "Hey, my name is Carmen," which I do a lot. So I I keep saying it until I get it right in that one minute. Normally it takes me about one or two or three takes, um, but I get it in by the end of that frame. When that frame stops, Instagram lets me like uh, trim it right in my stories. Like the stories are powerful. The stories are powerful. So I take everything in my stories. I save it down in order. Um, I also, in advance, also I know what I'm going to say. Like I have a script of basically high level what I want to say. Save it down in my stories. And then um, if, I, if I just want to upload it as is, I'll just upload like in order in my real section. Or if I want to add... You know, I've been trying to cap the um, the closed caption feature. Um, I'll drop it in order in Mojo, the Mojo app. What I will say about the Mojo app is that it configures my voice. It's like it understands Ebonics. So I don't have to make that many changes. Unlike in the Instagram Mojo um, closed caption feature, it be effing up my words. It be having me say, like, it be saying that I be saying all types of crazy stuff. So. I find that the Mojo voice recognition feature is a lot more robust than Instagram. Um, so my recommendation will be for you to uh, like use the closed caption feature in there. I'm not sure how much it costs cost per month. I pay for the year, but it's worth it. It's worth it. So the Mojo app again is my favorite sort of like editing app with, you know, it does all the fancy things. Um, and then when I, you know, if I use the closed caption feature, I save it down to Mojo. I upload it, uh, in Instagram and then I post, I, I use music. Yes. So the music part, I use music. I try to find music that's trending, but even if I can't find music that is trending, um, that matches the mood of my message then I use something that resonates with me. Like today, I my, my uh, video was about a sewing tool I can't live without, right? So at first I was gonna use a song from Cowboy Carter, you know, because that sound is trending, right? Um, but I was like, as a, even as a Beyonce fan, I just feel like her stuff is always overused and the situations for which they're used then don't make sense. I'm like, that Texas Hold'em why you rocking your baby to sleep don't make sense, sis. Like, you just using it because it's a, a trending sound. So I just I try to use her songs to fit the mood of what I'm doing. Like, if I ain't doing something that fits the mood of what she's singing about, I'm not using it. So today, I use um, Be Without You by uh, Mary J. Blige, one of my OG favorites, right? Not a trending sound but it matches what I'm talking about. Like, I'm like, I can't be without this tool, right? Um, so yeah, those are just some quick tips on how I do it. But yeah, I take all my stuff, cause I don't, you know, I don't, I know everybody says your phone camera has the best quality, but I don't trust my phone camera. I, uh, so it works for me. And um, yeah, so that's what I use. That's what your girl uses, and you can do. That's why I say people be like Carmen. I can't do what you do. I'm like everything I do is at my at the fingertips of my phone. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Everything, all my content, all the stuff that I've done. I've even built websites on my phone, y'all. You can do everything from you from your fingertips. So don't say you can't do it. How about you try it first? And then, you know, if things don't work out, then you seek more help. But a lot of people don't even be trying. I want y'all to try a little more. And I feel like people are, that's why I said the F your feed challenge so far has been really, I've been really pleased with it because I see y'all actually trying. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, yo, y'all making this dope stuff. People need to see your work. But yeah, the music thing is big with me. You know, my mom's a music teacher, so that's big with me. Like, I'm big on music. I'm big on sound, and I know that's what keeps me on the. That's what keeps me on the video. I can't 
can't listen to music. I, videos that don't have no music, I typically don't listen to. Unless you have, if if you if you don't use music, your storytelling skills got to be top tier. If they ain't talk, I'm not I'm not watching the video. So the music helps people that aren't necessarily comfortable with talking in front of the camera. Doing stuff on my phone is so complicated. Do you have an Android? Is it complicated because you have an Android? I'm just asking. I'm asking. Asking for a friend. I ain't gonna lie, I get frustrated easy and will not try again. Yeah, y'all don't even be trying. Do y'all know how many times I make a mistake? One day I'm gonna just take, I'm gonna tape a video and just, you know. No, you know I've never no. It's not a no. It's an editing app, similar to Cab Cut. If you have Cab Cut, I know Terrence loves Cab Cut. Okay, girl. <laughs> Terrence loves Cab Cut. Cab Cut's another one you can use. Um. Listen, when I tell you, son, I'll be in here. I'm going to do it. I think that'll be a fun exercise, like, to see how many takes. I'm not one take hold like Jay-Z. It takes me a lot. I'll be, because I think I got a big tongue. I ain't even trying to be funny. I know that sounds a little, okay, Karn, but I have a large tongue, like, so I talk over my words. Like, even my morning meetings, like, yeah, they may be, like, 20 minutes worth of content, but it takes me hours. That's why I was like, I got to figure out another way to deliver this message because it takes me hours to do that more than me. And I was like, I got to, mm -mm. <laughs> even though y'all enjoy it, it uh, I got to use my time more wisely. So it takes a million takes. To, uh, I have an Android. I use it for most things. I just need to get back to posting video. I listen, Auntie Kara, you are recovering from an injury. But yeah, if you're up for it, yes, it is time to come back, girl. It is time, it is time, it's time. I know, my morning meetings, though. Either I got to get up much earlier. I'm also, you know, who else, you know who else inspires me? Um, LaShawn and Risha. They be in the gym. They make me like feel like trash for not being in the gym. I need to be back in the gym. So that is on my goal list as well. All right, y'all. I got one more dart set of darts to do. Oh, one more set of darts, and then we can focus on the rest of the assembling the skirt. But they be in the gym like every freaking day. I be like, girl. Thank you. Please like the live. Please, please like the live, everybody. Oh, please like the live, everybody, for D gets upset. <laughs> Thanks, D. All right, so dang, where's no love for the kid? Ain't no heart in the heart of the city. I ain't even plugged into my other phone. I will wait for you. I'm 
All right. Thank you to everybody that's on here. If you're on Facebook, please, please, please come over to YouTube. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, let's put together this. Well, I'm going to wait to do my last set of darts because I need to make sure that I'm assembling this directly. All right, so we should go pretty fast from here. So I'm going to put my welts in on my skirt. All right. Child. Guys, trying to tell you something. Hi, Lakia. Thanks for coming. Thank you for watching from work. I appreciate it. How are you? I hope all is well with you. All right. Why you please like the live, everybody? We're up to 31 likes. Thank you so much, everybody. They like the live. I appreciate thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. If you're on Facebook, please make sure you hop on over. I include the link to my YouTube page. Come over on the YouTube, rock out with me over on YouTube. So I guess if it is 40 something on here, it's probably about five or six of you over on Facebook. Um, all right, y'all. Not I need you to get this together. I need you to get it together, sir. Oh, uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody liking. Thank you, D. Thank you, Dory B. All right. So, there we go. All right. So, we're going to add the second well at the bottom. So, the first well, we have basted it down. Again, welts aren't my ministry, but not not I'm trying to not chase you away from me. Facebook is just a notification point just to let people know, like, hey, because I listen, I got the blog page over there. I kind of just feed stuff over there, but uh all right. I did not chase you. I appreciate my Facebook boost too, but we're trying. We're trying to get to. The, we're trying to get to. Uh, how many watch hours? I need sixty-five more watch hours on YouTube. Sixty-five, y'all, and I need three hundred and fifty more subscribers before I get monetized at the ad level. Right. Once we do that, I know she definitely said I chased. I didn't chase her. Anybody can watch from anywhere. I was currently streaming on uh, Twitter, which I never use. Um, Twitter. Where else I stream from? All right, so we are going to add the flap next. 
Okay. A lot of layers. <laughs> It is a lot of layers over here, beloved. I'm putting, I'm putting this, uh, when I tell you I'm putting her to work, I am putting this, uh, thing to work. Material pink and lavender. This material here, what do you what are you asking about this? What material are you asking about? I just want to make sure I'm answering your question correctly. You know what? It is a, I would call it a charcoal. Like it's a light, it's a brownish charcoal. It's not either. It's not pink. It's not, It's like a tan. I can see why you would think it was like a salmon, but no, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a tan. It, ha, it does have hues of pink. I think it does have like pinkish undertone, but no, it's like a, a brownish tan. So far, my, my machine is handling the faux leather fine with this vinyl needle. So far, so good. Before Shopify, were you wondering where my sales at? But now you're selling with Shopify. You're easily selling online, in person, and beyond. Discover how millions of entrepreneurs use Shopify to ignite your selling. Sign up Shopify. Nobody told you that. Shopify.com slash YouTube audio. You thought it was shit. Lavender. Hi, Karen. How are you? How's the kids? My machine is not feeling this leather. Okay, I spoke too soon. Like, she like, girl, get somebody else to do it. My machine said, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> My machine said, girl, bye. My machine said, girl, bye. All right.
Shout. Send them a Bible. Oh, Lord. Send a revival. All right. So we're going to do the flip. Let's see how the flip wants to act today. Y'all know that that, that won't flip, how it be acting. Y'all know that woke foot be acting real funny. That woke foot be acting real funny acting. All right, we gotta we gotta cut into it a little bit more. Okay, it ain't horrible. It ain't horrible. Don't play with corn. It ain't the worst. It ain't the worst. You know what I'm saying? And all that's going to be covered up by lining. <laughs> all the inside, all the guts. But don't play with corn. Thank you. Thanks, Nana. Hey, thanks, girl. All right, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I ain't mad. Hey, don't play with corn. All right, y'all. Dad, you got thick up in here. It got thick. It got thick up in here. Okay. All right, y'all. So the pattern does not call for a lining, but I am adding one. So I just created a quick pocket bag that I'm going to essentially add to the top and the bottom of the welt pieces. And I'm going to create like, you know, a quick little, quick little pocket. Don't play with Carm. I just want y'all to know, don't play with me. <laughs> thank you thank y'all please hit the like button i appreciate you all for being here thank you so much it is thick like beyonce up in here all right all right so we're adding the pocket bag to the top Again, this this pattern does call for a a faux whoa whoa. It's not intended to have a pocket. I'm adding it. Appreciate you all for being here. <laughs> all right. So I'm adding the pocket bag to the bottom now. Probably should have added this here.
Probably should be pinning more, but I'm not because that's my business. Probably should be pinning more, but I'm not because it's not. It's my business. I think everybody don't remember to hit the heart though, Karen. It does help. Yep, it does. It does. I think it's not like uh the clock at. Like we automatically come in and start tapping. Over here, you have to make a conscious effort. All right. Not mob ties, Drake. All right, I'm trying to close up this welt now. You got a granddaughter or a grandson? I'm trying to remember. But either, how's the grandbaby? All right, y'all. So I'm going to press her down a little bit. But as you can see, let's see how this came out on the inside. All right, we got a functioning pocket on the inside. Don't play with Carm. Don't don't look at it too close on the on the back side. But we, it functions, okay? You can open it up. Child, I need to, I need to clip some of this pocket bag off. But the pocket bag is in. Don't play, don't play with Carm, okay? I can put money in there, okay? She's doing well, good. Don't play with Carm. Don't play with Carm, okay? Have you made her any more crochet outfits? All right, y'all. Don't play with me. I'm proud of me. All 
Don't play with corn. Could the welt be a little bit, you know what I mean? Could it be a little bit better? Yeah, but, you know, progress is progress, okay? I had a little denim piece I was using. Progress is progress, okay? Progress is progress. Let me do this from the other side <laughs> and not burn this. Thank you, Lynn. You, your people out, Lynn, was like, the fabric pretty, Carmen, but that work is. It's my muslin, y'all. It's my muslin. It's my muslin. It's my muslin. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. I got it from Fab Spread. I don't think you and um, Mika came up here. Y'all went to Joe Mar, but y'all got to check out Fab, Fab Spread next time y'all come up here. All right. Now she just tried to stack his All right. Thank y'all all for being here. Appreciate it. I'm just doing a low light press on the leather. Trying to get it to lay down a little bit without burning it. Ah, I think, man. All right, girl, I know. I'm, I'm just playing with you. All right. All right, we got it to lay down a little bit. Again, it's a muslin. It's a muslin, y'all. It's no biggie. All right, so here's what we're working with. Functioning pocket and look at listen. Y'all just do a little quick look, do a little quick pocket bag in. All right, so now we're going to create the uh add the facing. I know you effing lying. I know you effing lying. Hold on. So. I cut this wrong, y'all. I cut it wrong, y'all. So I cut it wrong because you only cut one piece. All right, gotta take it apart. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hi, Tanya. It's okay. I need to cut a new piece. Hey, it happens. I, I, I'm gonna grab a. I, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can. I think I'm. I'm gonna see. Oh, hey, Coco Drop. Come over to YouTube. Hi, K Bella. No, it's actually, it's more of a pewter. It's more of a pewter, not a mauve. More of a pewter. All right. Darn it. It was bound to happen, right? 
Lucky me, lucky me. It's all good. I'm going to try to see if I can resolve this. Like not have to cut a new piece. We're going to see. Thank you, Coco Drop. Ciao. Going through the motions on the skirt already. Got through the well. Got through the well. <laughs> Darn it. Got through the well. <sighs> okay, it's all good. It's all good, Carmen. It's all good. All right. Now. Thank you. All right, so I need to go cut a new piece really quick. Give me about um, two minutes, two minutes. Thank you for your patience, everyone. See, so yeah, I had to cut a new piece really quick. It's really janky, but it'll get the job done. Um, child, if I cut the wrong piece again, you under you understand how I will snap. Okay, we're back in business, y'all. 
Okay, we're back in business. We're back in business. Thank y'all. Oh, you're going to uh what frocktails you going? You going to uh, Miami too? Or South Florida rather? Which one you going to, K Bella? And if you say you were already pre prepping for Chicago, girl, do you understand? <laughs> I will block you if you say you already prepping for Chicago. I'm so jealous if you're already prepping for Chicago. I mean, K Stu, K Charles. Now, why do I call you K Stu? Um, K K Charles, you're already prepping for Chicago. That's two months away. Child, I gotta go next week. Then I'm pre and I'm prepping for. It. I still gotta prep for next week. If you're prepping for Chicago already, I'm gonna block you. Know that. I'm gonna block you. <laughs> Meanwhile, me and me and um. Meanwhile, me and uh Brooklyn Timmy like, girl, figure it out. Why does this not make it sense for me? You going to Florida? South Florida? Yeah, I'm going next week. Me, K Bella, not not K Bella. Um, me, um, Brooklyn Timmy, Kizzy gonna be there. Um, there's gonna be a whole wreck of us there. Yeah, they have tickets. Chicago isn't even on my radar. Amen. <laughs> Amen to that. Neither is I mean I'm promoting it, but it ain't on my radar in terms of like someone. Hey, Charles, be uh, she's always very prepared. She think I'm playing. I will block her. I will be like, girl, I am blocking you. I am blocking K Charles respectfully. At Vistaprint, we print everything to show off your brand. So you can print it like Simon's Restaurant and outfit your whole team. Or you can print it like Vegan Cafe Jaja and give your fans more ways to grab your brand. Print it like jewelry designer Kirsten and find a way to get noticed every day. Or go ahead and print it like Barbershop High and Tight and get totes, shirts, hats, even, ooh, fancy water bottles. Let me get one of those. Print it any way you want. Because at Vistaprint, if you need it, we print it. Print it all with 25% off for new customers at Vistaprint.com. Just no. Oh. You gonna be what? Yo, what?
I said that and I meant it. Nobody, nobody in the in the house made their wedding dress. You didn't trust yourself. If I get married again, I'm going to make my own dress. Okay. Second time's a charm. Second time is a charm. It's never too late. Never say never. Okay, so my lining is coming up short. Y'all know I will. <laughs> I will work a piece, okay? We're going to work it. We go. Can we work it? Can we flip it and reverse it? You can make, you, you know what, T? You can make my wedding dress, girl. T, you want to make my wedding dress? I'll pay you. You do, you do excellent work. You can make one of my wedding dresses. Cause if I get married, I'm gonna get like I'm gonna have like five outfit changes. I'm gonna have like five outfit changes because I'm extra like that. Here's the thing, I'm gonna have five outfit changes. Mind you, I'm I'm eloping. When I get married, I'm eloping. So nobody gonna see all these outfit changes, but I'm gonna have outfit changes, okay? But y'all y'all will get the pictures after the fact. I'm definitely popping out on y'all. Like, hey y'all, I just got married. Um, I'm back from my trip. Um how y'all doing? What y'all been doing? What y'all been up to? It's really gonna be one of them type of moments. Y'all gonna be like, what Carmen? Really? Really you couldn't tell nobody? I'm really gonna be that girl. The fact. But it's really gonna be that kind of situation. Listen, I'm all for the eloping. I am. Listen, um, T, I might have to have you sign the NDA, girl. Would you be willing to? I'm like I said, I'll pay you. But would you be willing to sign the NDA? That's all I need to know. Can you imagine living in the world? You might be like, one of the few people I let come just in case something go wrong with my my um my dress. I doubt it, but yeah. I might need you to be in the building to make sure all goes well with my dress. Women are just given such a hard time. Just okay. Just saying, girl. Twenty six years. That's a long time. To be with one person. I love to see it though. I love I love love. But twenty one twenty one years. Including That's amazing. That's why Slend is designed to be That's amazing. Do not take Say no, y'all can come to my wedding. Anybody that come to my wedding, go ahead to sign the NDA. Let me tell you why. Because I got crazy exes, okay? So as long as y'all willing to sign the NDA, y'all can come. But certain people can't find out that I'm married until after the fact, okay? Don't ask no questions. Just come to the party. Be, but you gotta, you gotta make your own outfit. You gotta make your own me made outfit, and you gotta be dressed. Just know that. Just know that. So if you're okay with those stipulations, or if you're like, Carmen, that's too much, 
then I completely understand. Everybody in my wedding gotta have me made outfits on. Everybody had y'all gotta make your own outfits. If you ain't going, if you ain't gonna make your own outfit, then you can come to the reception back here or something. <laughs> D said, I wanna come. I wanna see the shenanigans. It's gonna be shenanigans. Not like shenanigans, like you know the, the shen shenanigans that be happening at you know how Y'all know the shenanigans that be happening at funerals. Like, people be finding out, like, somebody had a kid and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? That kind of shit. It ain't going to be that kind of shenanigans. Imagine finding out that you had a sibling at a funeral. Why funerals got to be so chaotic? No, Diane, no. I want to go to all... I, I would want to get married overseas. I would want a destination wedding. I want a destination wedding. Okay. Is anybody in the house getting married? Is anybody celebrating an anniversary this year? Like, are y'all doing renewal, vow renewals? Like, what are y'all giving this year? What's the vibes? I know Miss Alethe, I think her, her and her husband, I think, are on 30. You're 30. I said 30. 30. Sheesh. Shout out to Miss Alethe and her hubby. Shout. Okay, listen. Shout. Shout. Sam, do you have a relationship with him? Finding out you got an uncle is the best. Tap them pockets, Sabs. Tap them uncle uncle's pace. My uncle, listen, y'all understand how spoiled I am when it comes to my uncle. Because he don't play about his nieces. Twenty-five. Oh my God, Santa! I mean, you doing you doing it big for your get big five o this year, so you can have a dual celebration. You 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 having a dual celebration, girl? Shit. Oh, since celebrating, celebrating. We love love, okay? Congratulations to all the lovers out there. I can barely make it 20, 26 days, let alone 26 years or 25, 26 years. So congratulations on making it. Is it true that they say the hardest years of marriage are year one and year seven? Thoughts? Married people, year one and year seven. They say that's when most of the divorces happen. They say if you can make it past year one and year seven, you're pretty much good to go. You're good to go. All the married folks in the house, year one and seven. Y'all like, Carmen, I ain't come here. I can't even watch you so. Why are you talking about these? I'm just saying. I be having questions. I just be having the what the hard hitting questions people want to know. 
I'm just asking the hard hitting question. Seven was rough, yeah. We're on seven. Okay, sorry. Listen, sorry, sorry, Karen. Karen, we ain't gonna talk about it. We ain't gonna listen. Girl, when, when did I stitch over there? Karen said, uh-uh, don't be speaking that, don't be speaking that on me. She said, don't be speaking. She's like, I'm on year seven. We cool, we cool over here. She said, we is cool over here. Don't be, don't be bringing that over. Don't be bringing that energy over here, Carmen. Did y'all know that my, my um, big man has a cutting, my iron board has a cutting mat on it. So when I need to true up stuff on the side, it is perfect for that. If you have not gotten a big man, I highly recommend. Let me just show y'all what I'm doing. Carol will gag. Carol, but guess what? Carol ain't here. Carol ain't here to say nothing, okay? What's she gonna say? Well, she ain't here to say nothing. So we're just gonna get rid of some of this steam allowance. Now, in the curves, I could have just clipped the curves, but, you know, whatever. Hopefully, I ain't make no mistakes, because I'm cutting out a lot of the same allowance. All right. All right. She said, me, me and mine is good over here, Carmen. Me and mine is good over here. All right. So, we're going to flip this out. Yep, she said me and mine was cool. Speak for yourselves and y'all said y'all seven year um what, what do they call it? The seven year something. She said me and mine is cool. I don't know, I don't know what y'all came to do, but me and mine is cool over here. Okay? So what I will say. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is happening here. What the hell? That curve ain't curving. That curve ain't curving like I needed the curve. Now I might need to top stitch it. I'm gonna top stitch this because this look crazy right now. We're gonna have to do a little top stitch situation because this ain't the curve ain't curving the way I needed the curve. So we're just gonna go in. Because remember, this this is Now I came with the wrong pattern. Y'all ain't gonna be coming. Y'all ain't gonna be coming for me and my masterpiece now, okay? Ah, right, Kiki, you just got here coming for my masterpiece. Not coming for my masterpiece. All right, so we're going to top stitches. We're going to top stitch and we're going to make that. We're going to do the best we can with what we got. Y'all know that's my motto. We're going to do the best we can with what we got, okay? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay. Now, Kiki coming in here, like, girl, did you cut the roll pattern? I, secretly, I did. 
secretly I did at first, but you know, we recovered. What, how long I've been on here? Two hours? Okay. I'm going to extend the stitch a little bit. Whatever. Ha! We're gonna call it something. You know what? Yes, we're gonna call it the we're gonna call it a, a comeback because baby. He gonna Kiki gonna stop coming for my neck, okay? Not Kiki coming for my neck. <laughs> Now I can't keep coming from my neck. Kiki, stay coming from my neck. It's okay, girl. All right. It's all right, Kiki. It's, it's all it's all love, okay? Kiki said, girl, did you cut out the wrong pair now? You know, things happen. And I'm wearing y'all shirt today, Kiki. This is the treatment I get when I wear my sorority wear shirt. Did y'all grab your sorority wear shirt and stop? Did y'all grab y'all sorority wear? I think this one is sold out. So let me not even get y'all hype about it because y'all can't get it. <laughs> let me not get you hype about this shirt that you can't get no more. <laughs> let me not get y'all hype and upset. But did y'all get did y'all get it? Did y'all get y'all sorority? They got other stuff. KK, when am I getting my sew shirt? You said after you order it, sis. You said after you order it. <laughs> Can I get it expedited? <laughs> Can I get my sew shirt expedited, please? Or I'm just doing a little top stitching because that curve ain't curving the way it need to curve. And we're going to see if this top stitching helps the situation. I think it will. Okay. Just know, I y'all, and don't think I'm trying to use. I'm trying to use my friend privileges. I tried to get it at the retreat. They didn't have my size. If y'all did not go to the sorority wear retreat, baby, can I tell y'all y'all have to go next year? Everybody in the chat, who's going to the sorority wear retreat next year? Well, me and Sam, we already got our, our spots. Who else going to sorority wear retreat next year? Me and Sam will be in the building. Okay. K still you uh, why I keep calling you K still? Um K Charles, you going? Okay. D you coming to the retreat next year? 
I know you were moving. Right. <laughs> right, Sin. I was like, say, me and Sin roll. We pulling up. Know that me and Sin are pulling up. <laughs> Oh shit! You know what? Don't even say that. Don't say that, Kiki, because then they're gonna be on my line. Like Carmen, when is it? When is it, Carmen? When? When is it? When is it? Shit! I'm, a, I'm afraid you are about to equip me with that knowledge. Shit! Don't equip me with that, y'all. I don't know. They ain't gonna tell me. They ain't gonna tell. Dory B, you gotta come. I'm gonna let y'all know which one to be at some weekend though. Cause I think I think they are y'all at in a couple weeks. I'm gonna let y'all know the BSN weekend. That that's what I'm trying to arrange. I'm trying to arrange, even though any weekend would be fine, but I'm trying to arrange a BSN weekend, y'all. I'm I'm in negotiations. Okay, that look better, y'all. See the top stitch help. See what happens when you believe in yourself. The top stitcher is top stitching. Don't play with Karn. Okay. When I tell you I think I did this wrong, though, I'm going to just say that. I think I did this wrong, but it's okay. All right. So now we are going to... We're going to pray. <laughs> we got to pray just to make it today, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so we're seeing some shape here. Okay. I think this is going to be too big. So we're gonna base this on here. We're gonna base this together. So we're going to base this together. Now I'm trying to, I'm trying to listen. Let me tell y'all something. Let me, let me just have a real conversation. The level of effort that Kiki, Nikki, and Monica put into that event. I ain't got that in me. So what I'm, I'm trying to say, okay, I know they're having multiple weekends. I'm trying to say, okay, BSN, we need to book out this weekend. That's what I'm trying to do. You know what? I'm gonna say I'm gonna put that out there too, Kay. I already got roommates. I got a multiple roommates, but I'm gonna um I'm gonna I think I'm gonna set up a message board. I'm gonna set up a message board for Chicago Frogtails for people that are looking for roommates. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna set that up. I was actually just thinking about that. Hello. So yeah, stay tuned for that message board coming. Hi. Yeah, for Chicago Frog Tales. I'm going to put that out there Um, on, you know what? Give me, give me till the end of the week, K Sue. But yeah, I'm a um K Charles, whatever. <laughs> I mean, where the fuck should I really start? I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark. All right. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead on my Brooklyn Timony one. I'ma set something up for y'all. Okay, I got okay. I'ma set up a message board. I'ma set up a message board. Give me. I'm busy tomorrow. Give me by. Give me till Friday. But can we talk about? Listen. It is gonna be in Dallas. Dallas is what I was found interesting is Dallas is like. Um, 
It is. It, it's like condition. It's like the quilt. It's. Like, I feel like it's the quilting capital of the world or something. Like. Three fourths of an inch don't even sound right. This says so at three fourths of an inch. That sounds like too much. I don't trust that, but we're gonna do it. Okay. I am going to create a message board. I need it. I think I'm gonna create the message board in Google Classroom. Anybody have any other suggestions for? Yeah. So yes, Kiki, let me know if I can negotiate the uh, BSN weekend for sorority wear. I'll sell it out in a week, week like a day. Y'all talk about it amongst yourselves as a team, but I would love to, <laughs> I want to have a BSL weekend. I want to just hop on it. You know, I'll be a sponsor. I just don't want to plan it. <laughs> That's the closest y'all going to get to a, a, a retreat from me anytime soon. I ain't afraid to hop on it. We'll give y'all great content. I promise. We'll give y'all great content. <laughs> BSN knows how to do content. <laughs> we'll give y'all the work. <laughs> so I sell it out. Yeah, they're coming. The twins and Monica will be in the building for Chicago Frog Tales. So excited to see them. Three fourths is very random. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the other outer one. I'm not going to, um, because I think I want to add a facing to this and not the lining. So, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that thinks it's very random. Very random. All right, so this is big, y'all. All right, y'all. So I'll add the lining later, but I'll add a zipper and I'll add the side seams now. And I can get you guys out of here in the next. I would say 20 minutes. So we can try the fit. We can talk about general thoughts about the skirt. Again, the skirt is only like five, but the skirt and it's a skirt and it's a blazer. Um, I forgot to say what size I cut. I cut a large. These patterns, even though it only goes up to a 2X, I feel like every, these patterns, like even the other one I did, runs big. Sin made a pattern from them. She said they ran big. You, I feel like you can almost go down two sizes. Like, So I feel like their, two, their large is more, or their medium is more comparable to a large or extra large. Hi, D. All right, so I'm going to. I feel like this is going to be too big, so I'm going to just. Thank <laughs> you. 
And this is supposed to be a very fitted and taper look, so. Oh, I was supposed to be basting this. I was supposed to be basting you. Oh, whatever. And another element is supposed to be, you're supposed to add like some faux buttons to the front. But we're gonna try this on really quick. I left a little bit of the side open so I can slide in it, but I don't even think I'll need that. So here, right here, you're supposed to add like some faux buttons here. I'll show you guys what the picture looks like again. As you can see, there's like some buttons like right by the pocket area. Um, those aren't functioning bu buttons. They're just full buttons to like tack down and keep on top of it. So you keep the kind of swoop there. All right, let's see. Okay. All right, girl. Let's see the vibes. Let's see the vibes. I think this will look so cute with like a button-up shirt. Why do I have any button-up shirts? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I, wait, this ain't as small as I thought it was gonna be. Wait a minute. But I also stitched it down at a three fourths of an inch allowance. I wanna put on a different shirt. Different shirt. I need like my roller rack up here. Ugh. I want a roller rack. What am I? Where are my other shirts? All right, y'all. I'm gonna put on my beauty the door. I want to give y'all the vibes. Cause I feel like a button up shirt will look cute with this. So I'm gonna put on my wrinkly, my wrinkly button up Beauty the Door shirt by Muslin. Just use it for, and just use it to roll with the vibe. Just use it to roll with the vibe. All right, hold on. All right. Don't look how wrinkled it is. But I think this will look cute with a button-up shirt. I always be giving y'all a show. Y'all need to pay me for the shows I be giving y'all. Y'all need to be paying me for the... Yeah, so there's one hotel that has... um. There is one hotel that has uh, a discount code, but a lot of uh, several people said the government discount code. If you work for the government, works a little bit better. Um, because I'm going to set up a message board for the Frog Tales attendees. Hey, Roslyn. Hey, everybody. It's all on the website. So I set up the website. You can, it's, I, I include direct links to where you could just click on it. Um, and it'll take you right to the hotel website. The ones that, the one that had the uh, discount code, I forgot what, is, what it is. I think it's frock or something. Anyway, when you click on the link, it will automatically give you uh, the discount code if they have any more of that block left. Hey, gay now. All right, y'all. So, see, this is what, remember, this was the muslin shirt. All right. So, the shirt, the, hold on. Thank you.
Mariah, can y'all see it? I feel like it's run, it runs a little. Let me tuck it all the way in. Let me tuck it all the way in. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I got to go off camera. I got to go off camera so y'all don't see my cootie cat. Hold on. All right, I got it all in. I got it all in. All right. It's getting real corporate. I know it's because of the, the color that I use. I don't know why I keep trying to make these Louboutins work. I need to shave my legs, that's for sure. All right. Can y'all see me? I'm trying to give y'all visuals. <laughs> These shoes hurt. That's why I said it's giving, like, corporate. You can't really see the details, but... It's cute. It runs big. It definitely runs big. Um, I think you should go down the size, but it's cute. It's cute. It gets the job done. All right, let me take these fucking shoes off because they are hurting. So yeah, I like it. Um, I would say definitely go down the size or two. Um, again, I sold these side seams at a three-fourths of an inch seam allowance on both sides. So that I think that just speaks to how big the skirt is. Again, I have a functioning pocket here that's enclosed. So all those little imperfections from my well pocket are gone. I like it. I think it's cute. It's an easy skirt, honestly. All I had to do was add, uh, you know, you know, I want to make it a little hoochie, though. You know, I want to make it a little hoochie. So I think it's perfect for if you want to make it work. I want to figure out how to make it shorter and hoochie fied a little bit. So I do want it shorter, y'all. Um, but I love this detail right here. I love this little swoop detail. So I plan on either making it. I got this fabric from Minerva. I think I want to make it out of this. I think it will. I think it will pop more with this skirt with this color. But again, I got this. This was throw. This was fabric that I got from Fab Scrap. Again, it was going to the landfill. I got this fabric for free. <laughs> Not Usher board. Not Usher board. But yeah, I got this fabric for free for um. So I think. What I'm going to do, I'm going to shorten the skirt. I'm going to shorten it about two inches. Because I don't want to, it's, it's up there already. It's above the knee already. Um, I'm going to use a different color. I'm going to go down the size. Um, and um, I think this will pop. I think this is actually a skirt. I wanted to make this for Cowboy Carter. Um... So I think if I pair this with like some denim, y'all know what I can show y'all it with? <laughs> Let me show y'all with this, the jacket that I never finished and I need to finish. <laughs> let, me, let me show it with a jacket that I never finished. Hold on y'all. <laughs> Maybe some denim will help. I'll give it a moment, okay? Maybe some denim. Denim on denim on denim. Hold on. Can I fit this in here? Can I fit this? 
Y'all didn't ask for none of this, but I need, listen, I got to work through these. I got to work through the motions. All right. The, disregard the torpedo tips. But like, what if I did it with like a denim? Disregard the t torpedo boobs. Because I never fixed this. I never fixed this, but y'all know this is the one that this one, this is my Muslim. <laughs> Disregard the torpedo tits. But y'all get y'all y'all see the vision, right? I think maybe with like a boost DA or something, this will look super cute. Shorten it, put a little boost DA with it. I figured out the fit for this, y'all. So I figured out the fit. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely take it up. Definitely taking it up. Also, I could do it with like a denim shirt look. This is Julian's jacket. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Did I still need to finish? But like, you know, but do it like with a denim, like a uh, button up or something like that. Did I still need to finish? But y'all y'all see the vibe. I feel like a denim leather like combo will be super cute with this. Y'all y'all just gotta follow the vibe. Y'all gotta follow just no trust, trust the process. But this is actually one that I like. This is actually a skirt and a look that I like. I think it will come. I'm going I'm going to my denim dude on Friday. Yay! Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. <laughs> but yes, definitely a leather and denim look could be made, could be had out of this. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you all for being here. <laughs> yes, this is Julian's um know me pattern ME2059. I think I is that right, Julian? It's cute, and I made it just for spring. I made it just in time for spring. Um, but yeah, this is good. This is good. Uh yeah, so Lynn, make sure you guys participate in Lynn's challenge as well for her top. Um, well, you can make her pants too. Julian, again, we are making his pattern on Sunday service. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for now. I need to get off of here, get ready for the rest of the week, and then figure out what I'm making for Chicago Frocktails. Hold on. Whew. That took a lot out of me. Yeah, I think this is cute. And that you know, y'all, you know, it also comes with a blazer. Like this, all this, all, this, this comes with a blazer. So I could easily make this this blazer. It's meant to go with a crop blazer. So I can make the blazer might be the move. Honestly, it's giving clueless vibe. I think if I did the blazer and like a denim, this like whole set will be super cute. I just need I just need to hike the skirt up a little bit. Uh, but I highly recommend you get it. I think you can you can whip it up really quick. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. How long have I kept y'all? Two hours and 20 minutes. Can you see what? Shamir, are you just getting here? Shamir? Shamir, are you just getting here? Oh, God. Shamir, only for you. Only for you. Don't be asking me. Let me see if I can add Nikki's. No. Not Shamir asking me to put on something that I just put on, that I just modeled for y'all. Everybody, was Shamir late to the party? Yep. I gotta find another shirt, Shamir. Not Shamir being late to the party. Somebody fire Shamir. Somebody fire her. Lord. Somebody fire Shamir. <laughs> I gave a whole entire, uh, hold on, where is, Shamir's fired. All right, Shamir, here's the skirt. Here's the little, the little, um, the little wrap over part. See, the I turned the music off and everything. This part comes over here. There's a pocket right here. I added a, a, a bag here. You doing your video, you might be late to the party to for doing your video. So yeah, I was saying that the pattern runs big. So yeah, here it is. This is how it looks. I don't think it really does it justice. You really can't see it because I feel like this color washes everything out. 
I think there's a, another thing you could potentially do is do color blocking. Um, but I like it. It's a cheap pattern. I think it's super quick. I think I'm going to raise it probably up to here. Yeah. I think I'll raise it up to here and then we'll like it. Y'all see the vibes. I think that that's that's it. Here, that's it. That's it. This right here. This right here. Yeah. Y'all see the vibes. Y'all see where I'm going with this? So yeah, I need that's about two and a half inches off the top. Let's test it out to see how much I'm taking this shit up. Not cuter. <laughs> Not cuter. That's the way of saying, girl, I thought that shit was ugly. I was just being nice. That was K-Stu's way of saying, uh, K-Charles' way of saying, girl, that shit, that shit was ugly. So I'm going to take it about up about two and a half inches, y'all. Two and a half inches from the bottom. So you just pin it there. But yeah, this is it. We like we like pattern couture. Good job. I'll definitely be going back. I did my bustier with the torpedo test. It looks cute with that. I think we have options. I think this, unlike that McCall's pattern, this has potential. Unlike that McCall's pattern, yeah, I said it. This has potential. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for rocking out with me. I should definitely have the hours that I need. Now I need to uh, focus on getting subscribers, but yeah, this should this should definitely put me over the 4,000 watch hours, and I could not have done it without you all. I appreciate you all for rocking out with me for the last two and a half hours. This has been fun, but please, please, please uh, visit the other So Longs um, for Black Zone Network this week, but especially we want to show up and show out on Sunday for Julian. Um and make sure like that his pattern does well. So I need to piece that together tonight. And that is Know Me Pattern ME2069. No, 2079. 2079. I think Len is 2069. Anyway, remember those two numbers? Um, but yeah, that's all I have. And talk to you guys later. Uh, Tajri, hell no. Hell no. Good night, y'all. Good night. Good night. Good night. Before I had to hurt her. <laughs> Before I had to hurt her. Bye, y'all. Thank you so much. Bye. What is she saying? Is Julian? No, he's on TikTok. We're on TikTok on his TikTok account on Sunday. Um, I'm thinking about doing some Sunday services over here, maybe once a month, but yeah. So yeah, if we do tip, yeah. So that'll be on Sunday. If anybody wants to join, just reach out to Julian. So far, it's just me and Shamir. So you know it's going to be a good time. So, yeah, I need to figure out what fabric I'm using and put together the pattern. I got the PDF. Um, but, yeah, that's all I have. Just that part of the asymmetrical skirt, too. Just that part or the asymmetrical skirt, too. No, just that part. I'm just going to do the main skirt. I'm just going to take it up uh, three inches. I'm not going to um, cut it. Like, I like it kind of like the high-low look. There you go, Tydree. So I'm just going to do the main skirt, take it up two and a half inches and keep the, the flap or the overlay as is. I like that. So anyway, good night, everybody.